Hi guys, this actually turned out to a fine day here in the end times. And uh, I'm just killing a few minutes waiting to uh, meet with someone about a pile of boards. Good Lord, this pile of boards that has now taken over my life here on this lovely Wednesday afternoon, March 16th, as the little dog and I count down our final month here uh, in the Point Lonesome Swamp. So, uh, anyway, let that little dog go. But I really do have some good news, which of course you guys have all heard uh, many versions of this. I guess the third biggest story on the planet this morning of course, the number one biggest story on the planet being the price of a gallon of gas. The number two biggest story on planet Earth today, the price of a gallon of gas. Coming in at number one and number two, the single biggest freak out panic uh, that at least Americans are in. It is a full-blown panic. Uh, virtually everybody I have a conversation with for more than 30 seconds, strangers that I'm talking to, friends, the number one subject on everybody's mind on this planet is the price of a gallon of gasoline, but we do have coming in at number three, hallelujah, uh, if uh, I know you've heard this already, but if you haven't, hallelujah, we will, I mean, all joking aside, we have some of the greatest news that I have read, uh, good Lord, uh, I guess since I was born, here at age 62, Senate votes to make daylight saving time permanent. Hallelujah. The U.S. Senate approved legislation yesterday that would make daylight savings time permanent in the U.S. starting next year. The bill called the Sunshine Protection Act was passed by unanimous consent, meaning nobody opposed it. If enacted, and it better goddamn be when enacted, you know, by the Congress, the measure would mean Americans no longer need to suffer in darkness for five months a year. Well, I kind of made some of that up. Uh... There you go. Uh, this is Senator Patty Murray from what Democrat from Washington, quote, I urge my colleagues in the House to act as swiftly as the Senate. Let's get this bill on President Biden's desk and deliver more sunshine to Americans across the country. I do not believe it. The United States Senate did something right. 100 out of 100 senators from all sides of the political spectrum uh, saying, hell yes, bring on the sunshine. And uh, if Joe Biden uh, he'll have to, uh, you know, be the final one. If Joe Biden uh, does this, I will vote for Joe Biden uh, in 2024 to say thank you. Uh, I, I, I was said during uh, the Trump, uh, was that the presidency? During the Trump tyranny, uh, you know, Donald Trump, a big supporter of uh, of making daylight savings time a, uh, you know, permanent. He was always saying, just put it on my desk so I can sign it. Uh, but it, I don't know why it didn't happen. I said, and I meant it, that if Donald Trump, if Donald Trump 
uh, had had the power to keep daylight savings time 365 days a year, I would have voted for Donald Trump in 2020. If he had had the power to do that. Uh, so uh, we will see if Joe Biden and Donald Trump can uh, uh, agree with this. Uh, even a mental midget like Donald Trump. Uh, but anyway, guys, I... Uh, and then the fifth biggest story on the planet from good old HuffPost. No, I'm sorry, the seventh biggest story on the planet from those little lefties at HuffPost. Uh, this hilarious story. If you remember who Herschel Walker is, he was some big football player from Georgia uh, back in, I think, the 1980s. And here he is, and he is now running for U.S. Senator in my home state of Georgia. And anybody wondering why we are so fucked, the fact that Herschel Walker, it, 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 that, that anybody who's getting ready to utter this is even eligible to run for the uh, he probably would have been the only senator to vote against uh, daylight savings time. But what is on H Herschel Walker's mind this week? Herschel Walker is skeptical of evolution. Quote, why are there still apes? Think about it. Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker cast doubt on the theory of evolution in recent remarks, saying the fact that apes and humans still coexist disproves accepted science. Quote, they have a link to the YouTube. You can find this on YouTube. It's hilarious to listen to the whole thing. Quote, at one time, at one time, Science said man came from apes, did it not? Well, if that is true, why are there still apes? Think about it. Herschel said in an appearance at Sugar Hill Church, no doubt, Sugar Hill Baptist Church in Georgia on Sunday, responded lead pastor Chuck Allen, Quote, now you are getting too smart for us, Herschel. <laughs> oh, God. And you wonder why uh, I got the hell out of the state of Georgia. Uh, Jesus Christ. We're so fucked. The, 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 the fact that an, a candidate for the uh, U.S. Uh, Senate uh, is questioning evolution and does not understand how uh, humans and apes can be on the planet at the same time if humans evolve from apes. And then the uh, pastor uh, saying, you're just too smart for us, Herschel the penetrating intellect of a football player. Anyway, guys, uh, I think I've killed enough time over here, and uh, I got to get back trying to unload about 10,000 pounds of lumber uh, out of my life so I can move on. Highly suggest uh, you get out there and evolve from an ape while you still can, my guys.